Well, I think that um, this is uh, going to be an opportunity for me to let my fans know and some other uh, people who may be attending the shows more uh, about me personally. So some more. Well, I think my experience with Michael Jackson would probably be one of the most um, special. Yeah. Uh, I got a chance to perform for Barbara Streisand uh, at the Oscars in 1984. Uh, she had done Yentl and they did not uh, nominate her uh, as a director, you know, primarily because she was, you know, a woman. And at that time, I don't even think any women had been nominated at that point or maybe just one. And um, so she was really kind of protesting, you know, but she still wanted the music to be represented. So she called uh, Donna Summer to do Papa Can You Hear Me? And she called me to ask me to do The Way He Makes Me Feel. And it was just one of the greatest honors. I'm like, oh my God, Barbara Streisand want me to represent her at the Oscars. Oh my goodness. And I was nervous because, you know, we don't sing alike. And I was worried, but she said, no, don't worry about that. You sing it as you sing it and just kind of kind of go from there, you know? So that was one of the greatest experience. And then as an actress, I would think um, in 2016, I got to play Suge Avery in the revival of Color Purple here um, with uh, co-starring with Cynthia Erivo. That was one of the other greatest experiences of my life in terms of growth as an actress. And I was very thankful to Jonathan Doyle for, well, I had to audition for the role. So it was grateful for him to choose me. And then second, for him to work with me personally to make uh, Suge evolve into um, something that uh, would be special, especially being a mature woman. I was the oldest Suge and older than the entire cast, you know, 20, some, some 20 years and some of them 30 years I was older. But I, I left that show so enriched. Uh, oh, I'm so happy with the progress and the actual real effort of what Broadway has done. And for them, because the thing is, even if you allow the audience to see it first, because they've, they've known about different properties and you know different vehicles and shows and plays and everything like that, they could have done this many years ago. But once that they saw that if you present it, that people of all walks of life around the world also appreciate it and also enjoy it. I think that I think that is great. So I think that the future of Broadway is amazing. I don't know in terms of, you know, from if if money will hurt a lot of creativity now, because it is it does take a lot more money now to even put on just a simple play or musical and how do you raise that money? So I don't know if that will be only um uh a hindrance in terms of diversity. But other than that, I'm so happy of where to be a part of this community and to say, hey, I'm a Broadway baby. And um, that it's it represents all of us, you know. So it's a wonderful feeling. Thank you so much, Jennifer, and thank, thank you. you for talking with Theater Thank Pass. you. Thank you.